Hey guys, what's up? It's the Epic Cuber here, and welcome to an unboxing video. In this video, I'm going to be unboxing the original Rubik's Cube. That's right. My sister was kind enough to pick this up at Walmart just a little while ago, but you can get it really at anywhere, Target, and so on and so forth. I have a couple things planned for this cube. Rubik's Cube is not exactly known for being a speed cube, and that is entirely true. But right on the side here, you'll see it says faster action. And I have a old school original Rubik's to compare it to. And I want to see what has changed in the mechanism. Also, I'm not expecting a really great turning puzzle, but I'm going to order new screws, uh, springs, and a new core. Also, I'm gonna sand down the pieces and try, this make, try to make this into a proper speed cube. I gotta hand it to Rubik's Cube. They have a really nice looking box. The nice gray background with the cubes in it, and here's the Rubik's Cube logo. Has the Rubik's color scheme on it. It's Hasbro Gaming. And faster action, it says. And on the back, it says, you can do the Rubik's Cube. Uh, yes, I can, as a matter of fact. It's an original Rubik's Cube product. <laughs> Made in China. And just some advertising on the sides and stuff. So let's jump into the unboxing. All right, here we go. Bit of tape right there. Cut towards myself. That's not safe. All right. Sorry about that. The lighting died on me box anything else in the box yeah looks like there's a stand in there so here's the stand and doesn't look like anything else all right so here's what was in the package I can already tell you the stickers they feel different. This is a very heavy puzzle, actually. I think this is 57 millimeters. Let me just check real quick. Here's a Zanchi. Yep. Sticker scheme is just the normal, normal stickers. Stickers looked a little bit scratched up a little bit. I don't know if you can tell, but a little scratched up. Feel, feel more like a tile, actually, less than I um actual stickers, but let's go ahead and do first turns on this puzzle. All right, so right away, they definitely improved the mechanism, guys. I gotta say, a lot. That actually, I'm actually very pleasantly surprised. That turns, turns pretty well, actually. Yeah, it's, it's slow, obviously, but it's not nearly as bad as I was thinking. I can already tell, though, as I was doing those algorithms that the corner cutting is lacking. Let me go test real quick. All right, has a little bit. That's not about. It's actually line to line without, uh, with quite a bit of force though. It's very uh, loose feeling. I'm actually pleasantly surprised. This has a um, actually a pretty similar feel to like a Shangsha Wind. It's a very uh, plasticky feel. It's a little bit smooth. I'm actually, I'm actually a little bit impressed about this. So um, let's go ahead and take a look at the mechanism. Let's see if I can. Oh gosh. I'll be right back when I get it apart. Well. This is slightly embarrassing. I was actually not able to get this thing apart. 
So I guess that means we don't have to worry about popping on it. Man, I mean, it's just, it's just really in there. It's just, yeah, it's not going anywhere. Yeah, the, the turning is a lot more impressive than I feared it would be. You have to be super accurate with it because the corner cutting is very lacking. You gotta really put some force on it if you want it to corner cut. I was expecting it to be like its old self, the original Rubik's, and this thing's turning is so bad. Get a cramp in my finger after like one solve. It's it's quite bad. So I will be doing probably a full review on this. I will also do a step-by-step -step if I decide to take this thing apart and sand it down. Um, I was expecting it to be much worse. I might not actually, but we'll see. So, would I recommend this puzzle? Uh, not as a speed cube. It's for someone who's learning, definitely a step in the right direction for Rubik's. Definitely. That's the end of this video here. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you have any questions, post them in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.